Good morning, 814. Starting the day off with cloudy skies. Then becoming sunny, still cool tonight, down to 72. High 72, clear and cool tonight, down to 52. 64 right now, and it is our favorite time of the week. It is Furry Friends Friday, and uh, Amy Callahan from uh, Animal Lovers joining me this morning. Yep. And it's all brought to you by Distinguished Stoneworks, where each job is custom made. So the only That's limitation so is your imagination. They're located on North Roosevelt Road off Glen Lord in Stevensville, reminding you to support our local <laughs> animal rescue groups and shelters. And Amy, you have brought waffles. Yes. Not waffles to eat, but you brought the dog waffles. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about waffles, because you've uh, you've actually been taking care of waffles for a little, only like a couple days, right? Right. Yep. We just picked her up from Animal Control. Um, waffles is between two to three years old. She's a miniature pincher mix, so she's already full grown. Uh, she's very sweet. Loves to sleep under the covers in bed. Uh, so far, has been staying in the yard and has gotten along with my other cats and dogs. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah, she seems uh, very just kind of chill. Yeah, hanging out. Yes. Uh, I think that is a good size for a, a studio dog. A studio <laughs> dog, yeah. yeah. You know, I was Just trying... in case the boss is watching and, and, and listening and is wondering, hey, you know, we should get a we should get a coast dog. Absolutely. Oh, I think waffles would be a great coast dog. A coast dog. pincher? I think that's, uh, <laughs> oh, that's perfect. You could get little t-shirts. Yeah, oh, we could get t-shirts. You, you guys should totally make t-shirts. Oh, I think the t-shirts are already being ordered right now. There we go. But <laughs> if the boss says no, and someone else wants to adopt waffles, how would they go about doing that? Uh, they can get in contact with Animal Lovers at 269-756-9271, or they can get on our Facebook page, and we also like to put them on PetFinder.com. Uh, okay. She's still too new to be on PetFinder. She hasn't been spayed yet. She's going to get spayed early next week, and then she's going to be ready to go. Very cool. She's yes. falling asleep right here. It's so sweet. <laughs> yes. like, oh, my I'm, gosh. I'm mesmerized by this dog. That's too much <laughs> <laughs> um, for those people that don't know much about animal lovers, what could you tell us about it and what, where you guys are located and all that stuff? Well, we're not a shelter. We are actually a home-based foster program. Okay. Um, we're primarily spay-neuter. Um, okay. We assist people in the local area that have problems paying for spay and neuter on their own. Um, we go to a lot of the local areas that offer the low-cost spay and neuter, such mm -hmm. as Kalamazoo Humane Society and ABC Clinic in South Bend. Um, they also now offer the Spay Neuter Express, which is local, and you can get online and find out when they're going to be in the area, and they stop at different locations and mm -hmm. actually spay or neuter your animal right there. So yeah. right. it's Wonderful. great, yeah. So for, for I know you said you've had uh, waffles for a couple days now, and it seems to be getting okay with getting along okay with the dogs and the cats at your house. Uh, what would you think would be the ideal kind of family for this dog? Um, well, I think she would like to be a little active. I think she would like to be able to run around a, a, a good size yard. Um, I'm not sure with the walking yet. We're still, you know, doing the leash and finding out mm -hmm. for sure if she's going to be a good walker. Um, still a little nervous in the car rides, but that's another thing that, you know, once she gets used to it, she's, sure. she's going to be great. So she, once she gets comfortable, this is how she is. She yeah. just likes to chill and relax. So has she been around small kids? I have a 10 year old. Okay. okay. Um, you know, she, she's still, since she's so fresh out of the shelter, it's, it's hard for them to realize who's going to be sure. trusting and not. So mm -hmm. she's still getting used to everybody. Um, you know, as long as everybody approaches her slow and lets her sniff and everything, mm -hmm. then she seems to be doing okay with it. So Yeah, she was uh, kind of a little fidgety at first when she walked to the studio because she's like, okay, I don't, I've never been here before. I right. don't know what's going on. And then, what, five minutes later, she's, she's passing sleeping. out. She's sleeping, <laughs> so. Well, I was walking out with Xander uh, and in the lobby there, and she was okay with them. A little nervous. I think they both like were mm -hmm. standoffish, like, Wait, you're my size. What is this? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> we are both tiny things. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but she didn't snap or anything or growl. So Wonderful. nope, she does all right. She's like I said, she's still getting used to everything. But I think she's going to be a great dog. Yeah, and she's just taking a nap right now and just waiting to figure out uh, where she's going to go next. So, yep, absolutely. Again, how can people uh, figure out how to uh, one adopt uh, waffles and find more, more about her? Uh, once again, they can contact Animal Lovers at two six nine seven five six. 9271 or they can contact us on our Facebook page um, at Animal Lovers of Northwest Indiana and Southwest Michigan and also we are on Pet Finder once the animals are up and ready to go once they're spayed and neutered and have all their vaccines. Wonderful. So we also uh, do adoption events at 
the Skits Farmers Market every Saturday morning in New okay. Buffalo. Wonderful. And are at PetSmart in Michigan City on every second and fourth Saturday. Wonderful. So yeah, so we have a few different places that you can come out and see us and see all the different animals that we foster at home. Mm -hmm. So they're all, you know, in a transition period, which yeah. makes it a lot easier for them to go to their new homes as opposed to just coming straight from the shelter. Right. That is so, a wonderful thing. And yeah. then we can tell you more about their personalities and exactly. everything too. It's, it's that great. That works out great. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Amy, thank you so much for bringing waffles and uh, Amy from Animal Lovers. Thank you so much. Waffles, uh, you just you just keep taking a nap, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Yep, I think she will. All right, Furry Friends Fridays brought to you by Distinguished Stoneworks, where each job is custom made. So the only limitation is your imagination. Located on North Roosevelt Road, right off of Glen Lord in Stevensville, reminding you to support our local animal rescue groups and shelters. Andy Grammer on the way next.